If you've been sued in Alabama by a debt collector or a debt buyer and you get a trial date, then a very natural question is, well, what in the world happens at a collection trial? Well, it depends on where you've been sued. Typically in small claims or district court, the process is somewhat informal. Now, I don't mean that you know, it's, um, there's no level of formality to it. I just mean instead of you sitting in a witness stand, raising your hand, and the lawyer standing 20 feet away, typically the judge will have you raise your hand, swear you in, and then you may stand right there in front of the judge, and the lawyer may be beside you, and the lawyer may ask you questions. Uh, so it's a, usually a little more informal. Now you need to know what your particular judge is. I know some judges in small claims court that are as formal as being in federal court. Most are not, but you need to know for your judge. And so if you're going to a, a trial of your case, if you're handling it on your own, then you need to go there and watch some trials. Is your judge more informal or more formal? And how does he or she conduct a trial? Now in circuit court, it tends to be more formal than small claims or district court. But again, there's a lot of variety. Some judges are pretty informal, some are very, very formal, and you need to know that before you go in. Now, if you have a lawyer defending you, then the lawyer should know, are we dealing with a formal or informal type arrangement? So uh, at trial, the basic idea is the plaintiff, that's the debt collector who sued you, they have to prove their case. So they say, hey, you owe me money. Well, they have to prove that. So they prove that by getting documents into evidence and by having people testify. Now, particularly in the district court and small claims, normally, although it happens, but normally they do not bring a witness. They're going to be looking at you to be their witness. So they'll question you. Now, in circuit court, sometimes, again, they don't bring a witness and they rely on you. Other times they'll fly somebody in to testify. And so they bear the burden of proving that you owe the debt. But remember this, they also bear the burden of proving that they own the debt. So just proving you owe it is not enough. Okay? You could come to me and say, John, do you owe your mortgage company? Well, yeah. They go, all right, pay me. Well, <laughs> no, I don't owe you. I owe somebody else on my mortgage. Well, same thing. They may prove that you owe the debt, that's different than proving that you owe the debt and they own the debt, okay? Because we're not talking about with a debt collector or a debt buyer, we're not talking about the person that gave you the credit card. We're talking about some other company gave you the credit card and now this debt buyer says, but we bought it, okay? Prove it. So they prove that through the right type of documents that meet the rules of evidence and the right type of testimony meets the rules of evidence. Now, in district court and small claims, it's the same approach, same principle. Uh, particularly in small claims, it can be a little more informal. The uh, rules of evidence can be relaxed. And so I, I'd say all this to tell you this. If you're facing a trial, you need to know what to expect. And if you're doing this on your own, what are the rules? Now, it's probably unrealistic to expect that you're going to learn all the rules of evidence, all the law, and know it as well as the collection lawyer who's been doing this for 20 years. But you need to at least learn enough to defend yourself. Now, if you have a lawyer, then the lawyer will take care of that, and you don't have to worry about that part. So if you have questions, give us a call, 205-879-2447, or you can go to alabamaconsumer.com, and you can read more about uh, you know, debt collection lawsuits, uh, we have materials that you can request about mistakes that we see people make when they're testifying. And you can also contact us if you have any interest in doing that. Thank you very much.